परम श्रद्धेय संत चरण ऑन दी डायस एज वेल एज इन दी ऑडियंस डिग्नेटरीज ऑन दी डायस माय हिंदू ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स दिस थर्ड वर्ल्ड हिंदू कॉन्फ्रेंस हैज डिक्लेयर्ड जयस्य आयतनम धर्म as its theme and uh, all the blessings we have received including his excellency's message they have in a way enlightened and about this very theme so my job is now to summarize what has been said already and then because i have i have been given some time i have to pass that time to elaborate on the summary ayatanam is abode ayatanam is also expansion growth ayatanam is also aadhar the main stay and uh, ayatanam is also stand on which particular material or anything stands in all those four ways this word is has been used in our sanskrit literature and they all describe what is meant by jaya the translation dictionary through dictionary it it says jaya is victory but then what is victory the standpoint of sanatan traditions hindus it is a very special standpoint about jaya jaya is not about victory and the victims not about conquering and the conquer jaya is about joining everybody together there are three kinds of vijaya first is rakshas vijaya the victory as seen by the demons in this there is destruction only and nothing else the tamasa prakriti vijay it destroys everything what for for nothing just for the sake of destroying that asuri joy for satisfaction of that asuri joy when we say jaya or vijaya we don't refer to this this is not allowed in our tradition spreading our dominion all over the world above, above everything that is not our goal vasudhaiva kutumbakam and krunvanto vishwamaryam those are our goals world is one family and we will make everybody arya that is culture that word also is inadequate but for the want of better word i must say culture then there is second 
धन विजय टू एक्वायर पजेशन ऑफ ऑल मीन्स ऑफ मटेरियल हैप्पीनेस पीपल ट्राई टू फाइट एंड डॉमिनेट इच अदर वी हैव एक्सपीरियंस्ड दिस 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 इज अ राजस टाइप ऑफ विजय Sometimes it may bring about good, but intention is not good. Intention is self-centered. We have experienced all all these two two kinds. We have experienced the asura vijay. Others they committed aggression on our society, and they have for five hundred years. wreak destruction and havoc in our country and we have also unfortunately taken the taste of this dhana vijaya wherein for about 150 200 years india was looted like anything but when we say jaya or vijaya it is always dharma vijaya the vijaya that stands on dharma the process the process that is carried out by the dharma niyams dharma rules and the result is also dharma that is dharma vijaya sometimes even those who don't want to fight have to fight satya ahimsa these are the two basic tenets of our tradition but even those who want to practice ahimsa or to save the practice of ahimsa in the world to save it we have to involve ourselves in fights so in the regular stream of things we have to be ready for fight but fight for what for dharma dharma has also been elaborated upon dharma धारणार्थ धर्म इत्याहू धर्म जॉइंट्स एवरीबडी अफोल्ड्स एवरीबडी ब्रिंगिंग टुगेदर कीपिंग टुगेदर एंड बीन ब्रिंगिंग अबाउट प्रोग्रेस टुगेदर दैट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ धर्म धारणार्थ धर्म इत्याहू धर्मो धारयते प्रजा ऑल दैट हैज टेकन बर्थ और इज क्रिएटेड dharma sustains it dharma is sustenance dharma is also balance madhyama marga tathagata said it avoids all extremes it accepts everything and everyone because dharma knows that not only unity in diversity but all diversities they spring from the unity existence is one and therefore there is no us and them whatever is there is my own not my possession my relation so i have to try i have to strive to bring everybody together and to bring about progress that is the dharma vijay which is expected in this team jayasya because this jaya which is dharma vijay it stands on dharma it brings about dharma so 
what is this dharma okay it brings about balance it is sustains it is based on truth of existence uh, one uh, uh, unity of existence but what is it actually what we have to do all our traditions hindu traditions they have started from this single point truth everything is one all are one no all is one and then there are different darshanas some say there is god some say there is no god some say there is atma no atma all this intellectual differences are there and there are so many streams going crossways also going per opposite also but then all of them they come together to a single conclusion how to behave that is dasha lakshanatmak one way of describing it or yama niyamatmak satya ahimsa asteya aparigraha brahmacharya शौच तप स्वाध्याय संतोष ईश्वर प्रणिधान और सत्य प्रणिधान दिस इज कॉमन टू एवरी भारतीय ट्रेडिशन इवन डोज इन भारतीय ट्रेडिशन हु डू नॉट एक्सेप्ट ईश्वर हु डू नॉट से आत्मा कंटिन्यूज और आत्मा इज शाश्वत इमोर्टल दे डू नॉट एक्सेप्ट दैट बट दे एक्सेप्ट दिस unity diversities of unity and yamaniyam atmak aacharan and therefore tathagat is described sabba papas akaranam stay away from all papa evil deeds kusalas upasampada carry on with with your life without disturbing anyone else's that is kushalata yoga karma su kaushalam that kaushalam also is the same kaushalam and then sat chitta pariyodapanam doing this you have to purify yourself your heart all sampradayas in bharatiya traditions they lead to one thing they purify you that chitta shuddhi that is brought about etat buddha anushasan this is the anushasan of buddha this is the discipline of buddha all disciplines they say the same thing kural i think verse number 35 it describes alukar ava vekuli inasol nalugum that is hatred lust anger and foul speech these four helukka aram Yuluka indra the aram. This anything without these four is called dharma. That is what they say. So we have selected this as our theme of this third conference. What we have to do if ayatanam is expansion or growth, we have to reach out. there are so many hindus which we have not yet touched ours will not be a movement or an agitation or a group which is very powerful powerful among the hindu society ours 
will be group which will expand and organize whole of the Hindu society. We have to go everywhere, touch everybody. He may agree on some things, he may not agree on some things. But we have to connect everybody to this prava, this stream. Because we have a duty to execute. Today, today's world is, is now stumbling. For 2000 years, they have performed so many experiments to bring about happiness, bliss and peace. They have tried materialism, they have tried communism, they have tried capitalism, they have tried with various religions. But they have, they have achieved material prosperity, but there is no satisfaction, no santosha, no samadhana. So many things we have progressed in our knowledge, material knowledge, but also we have become more violent. All these things are happening. So much development and so much deterioration of the environment. All this. So there is no bliss and peace. And now, especially after Corona period, they have th started rethinking. And uh, it seems they are unanimous in thinking that Bharat will provide the way. Because, because Bharat has that tradition, Bharat has done this before. We have proved this on and on. And therefore, they expect from us. And now, very birth of our society and our nation is for the same purpose. Once upon a time, when everybody ran after happiness, that happens all the time. We live for happiness. So we sought happiness outside. Everybody in the world. And when it was found that, yes, material happiness is there, it is real, but it is incomplete. There was a stream, people in which said that, okay, if it is incomplete, life is incomplete. There is no completeness in anything in the world. So let us stop here. Don't search. Go in this direction only, find more and more happiness outside. But people in our country, they did not stop. They said, okay, it is not found in, uh, the happiness is not to be found in outside. We will search it inside. And they went on searching, searching, and one day they got the truth. That everything that appears many and diverse arises, arises of, out of a single unity. And that unity is permanent and at all levels it is real. So, this unity, if we get to it, if, if we can realize it, if we can experience it, then we get satisfaction. Hankering after happiness stops because now we have everything we want. There is nothing we want. So when this was realized in our country, our Rushis, our Munis, they thought that means if everything is one, that means everybody is our relative, my own. I, I, in his happiness, I find my happiness. So if I have got this very important truth, by realizing which I stop hankering after 
material happiness and i feel that i have i have got everything now so i have to impart this knowledge to everybody so there was a gigantic effort went on for how many centuries don't know this is before history opened its eyes this has happened it has been recorded in our veda ओम भद्रम इच्छंत ऋषे स्वर विदा तपो दीक्षा उपसे दुरग्रे ततो राष्ट्रम बलम ओजस्त जातम दिनेवोलेंट ऋषि फॉर द बेनिफिश फॉर द बेनिफिट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड दे अंडर टूक ए हार्ड पेनेस एंड through that our our nation was born and that is why before anybody hindus went to nooks and corners of the world pre christian pre islamic traditions if we study them prevalent all over the world they have the same sanatan principles their world view their view of life their ideas about individual conduct they are all the same and now they are persecuted a lot in the world but they find solace in bharat when they come here they come here regularly once in four years they also have their conference and they say we find peace only when we come to bharat there is there is some some connect that we have forgotten but there is that connect is there we realize it and now everybody is saying that some months back the world muslim councils secretary general he came to bharat and in his speeches there he said that if if we want harmony in the world bharat is a must so this is our duty this is why hindu society came into existence all the sanatan traditions they do this very this very thing their worships may be different their disciplines may be different their darshan or philosophy may be different but starting point is the one and goal is the same so this is our duty now and for that we have to reach out connect everybody first stage connect every hindu and hindus together then will connect with everybody in the world as hindus are connected in more and more numbers the process of connecting with the world society has also started we can see that hindus have started playing role for vasudeva kutumbakam so connect with all hindus and hindus god given task he is vasudeva kutumbakam krunvanto vishwamari for the fulfillment of that we have to come together stay together work together and so many people from different backgrounds from different disciplines when they come together they have to learn to work together separately this i repeat i have i have said it in chicago everybody will not fall in a particular uniform we have to learn that art 
Everybody has has to have some contribution in the world. That is why they are there. Nothing is without purpose in this world. So everything is with purpose. We must have the knack to identify. And then we must take everybody together. Direction will be the same. Dressing will be the same. We will march with the same steps. But there will also be a distance. In large formations, everybody walks together separately. About 20, 50 people, they can march together without any distance. Hands in hands, they can go but if thousand people, they have to march through roads. They have to have the formation. And in every formation, there are units and there is distance between units. Walking together is not merging together. Our ancestors have recognized this. That is why we accept and respect every diversity. Even those who tried to subjugate us with their Asur Vijay or Dhana Vijay, we also recognize their specificity. We have respect for everybody. Because our ancestors, they have recognized this. We had forgotten this, this knack. And that is why we, we were broken into pieces. And then we were conquered. We have to come together now. Walk together now. And then again, to do so, we have to remember the Kural, same Kural. Anger, hatred, lust, and foul and hurtful speech. And add to envy and ego. These prevent coming together of individuals. These break the society. These break the organizations. So when we work, we have to go and contact everybody, connect with him, bring him to us by our service. We have that spirit. And we, I dare say, we have an age over all the world in the matter of service. Selfless service. We do it. It is in our tradition. It is in our blood. So, reach out. Conquer nothing but hearts. Serving and give and take, not materials, not monies, not ammunitions. We have to give and take qualities. We have to learn from everybody. And we should also be able to teach by our example. Leading by example, leading from within. So we have to have those qualities. There is a long list of qualities in Bhagavad Gita, 16th chapter. Daivi guna sampat, we call it. Abhayam sattva saushuddhi, jnana yoga vyavasthiti, danam damascha, swadhyaya, tapa arjavam, ahimsa, satya. And there is a long list. We have to achieve all those qualities. We should be exemplary. Our example should be followed. And certain things, because we stopped walking thousand years before, two thousand years before, we have a lot behind. So there is much to be learned from the modern world also. That also we should. And 
avoiding all the pitfalls mentioned in that kurals we should go on working the dharma view dharma view of the hindus will create global dharma view those in the world who want this world together who want to uplift everybody together they are dharmics this hindu dharma view dharma view of hindus will lead to global dharma view and then long awaited dharma vijay that will materialize world is waiting for that with their breath abated they are they are seeing how how india is progressing comments are coming from all four directions they are looking with hope we have to fulfill it and so we should continue with this when come we come to conference deliberate on many things have certain plans we have to work to materialize those goals should be decided in this conference and they should be fulfilled before next conference and we should go ahead step by step we should go ahead should never stop our number must grow we should reach everybody then we will have the dharma victory dharma vijay that vijay will not be against anybody but that vijay be will be for for everybody even those who get conquered they will not know that they were they are being conquered because there is no conquering it is joining joining and emancipating the real enemies of the world are the vikars kama krodha madam olobha matsara and adnyanam ignorance but you have to start from material world and take everybody to the spiritual level that is our task our national task that is why bharat is rising bharat is rising for sanatan dharma when we do this then durmada durdhar ripunashay nischita samuchita rana vijayay bahu jana hitay bahu jana sukhay samartha purvajanam samabhyartita jay mangal dayini bhavani bharat bhuvasini she will be awakened and then everybody and everything will be sumangalam that sumangalam should happen and i wish you all the best that sumangalam should happen in your this life with with this best wish for everybody i thank you for hearing me and stop my thank you